How to Mix Neutral Colors Easy Guide Mastering the Muted, A Beginner's Guide to Mixing Neutral Colors Neutrals They may sound unassuming, even boring, but these versatile shades form the backbone of countless stunning palettes. From the airy elegance of grayish to the earthy warmth of taupe, mastering the art of mixing neutrals unlocks a world of creative possibilities. But where do you start? Fear not, aspiring color enthusiasts. This beginner's guide will equip you with the essential tools and techniques to confidently navigate the world of neutral hues. Understanding Neutral Color Theory Before we dive into the mixing pot, let's break down what makes a color neutral. Neutrals are essentially colors with low saturation, meaning they lack the vibrancy of pure primaries or their secondary counterparts. They often lean towards gray, brown, or beige, creating a sense of calmness and sophistication. The two main routes to neutral nirvana. 1. The Complementary Color Mix. This method relies on the magic of complementary colors, pairs that sit opposite each other on the color wheel and neutralize each other when mixed. Think red and green, blue and orange, or yellow and purple. Asterisk warm neutrals, for a warm, earthy palette, mix orange with its complementary blue. Experiment with different blue shades like ultramarine or cerulean to achieve variations in depth and coolness. Asterisk cool neutrals, craving a serene, calming vibe? Mix green with its complementary red. Opt for rich crimson or warm yellow reds for a touch of depth, or go for lighter pinks for a soft, dusty effect. 2. The Triadic Mix. This technique involves combining three equally spaced colors from the color wheel. The resulting neutrals tend to be more complex and nuanced, offering a wider range of possibilities. Asterisk Grayish Symphony, play with the harmonious blend of yellow, blue, and a touch of red. Adjust the ratios for endless variations, more blue for a cool, smoky grayish, or more yellow for a warmer, oatmeal-like hue. Asterisk Earthy Delights, explore the earthy realm by mixing burnt umber, yellow ochre, and a hint of green. This trio creates rich, inviting browns with subtle green undertones, perfect for adding depth and grounding a space. Pro tips for mastering neutral mixes. Asterisk start small. Begin with small amounts of paint and gradually add more until you achieve the desired shade. It's easier to lighten a dark mix than darken a light one. Asterisk mind the temperature. Pay attention to the undertones of your chosen colors. Warm oranges and yellows will create warmer neutrals, while cool blues and greens will result in cooler shades. Asterisk embrace the unexpected, don't be afraid to experiment. Adding a touch of black or white can adjust the depth and value of your neutrals, while a hint of unexpected hues like purple or green can add intrigue. Asterisk practice makes perfect, the more you mix, the more intuitive color relationships become. Keep a color mixing journal to track your experiments and document your discoveries. Beyond the basics. Once you've mastered the fundamentals, delve deeper into the world of neutrals by exploring. Asterisk the tints and shades of neutrals, learn how to lighten or darken your neutral mixes using white or black, creating a cohesive palette with subtle variations. Asterisk the influence of texture, consider how different finishes, matte, satin, or gloss, can impact the perception of your neutral colors. Asterisk neutrals and accents, Discover how to use pops of color against your neutral backdrop to create visual interest and evoke specific moods. Remember, mixing neutrals is an artistic journey, not a scientific formula. Embrace the exploration, trust your instincts, and have fun. With a little practice and these helpful tips, you'll be confidently creating stunning neutral palettes in no time, transforming your spaces into havens of timeless elegance and understated beauty. Happy mixing.